Good day everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's gonna be something a little exciting. Got a huge package in the mail full of uh, mule fishing supplies. Uh, I split an order with a friend of mine just uh, last week and uh, it came quick so I'm here and I'm excited to show it off to you. Uh, I'll start off with some stuff that you're probably used to seeing if you watch my channel. Uh, I throw mule jigs and donkey tails quite often and then I'll get into some new stuff that I'm excited to use uh, that I haven't used before. So. Yeah, here we go. So I'll start off with the uh, donkey tail. Um, so like I said, you know, those of you who watch my channel, you know how much I throw this, you know how much I love it. Uh, I throw it in either the black or the karma color, which I'll show you the karma right now. Um, I never, I didn't order any black or green pumpkin. I just have so much of it right now that I don't need to. So here's that donkey tail on the karma. Super stretchy material, really nice. Similar to uh, the Z-Man uh, style of baits. Um, but I find this a bit better. It's a bit easier to use than uh, the stuff that Z-Man uses for their plastics. I don't know. I don't know any of the, the the composition of plastics, but these are some of my favorites. It's just a really nice bait for that finesse swim bait kind of jig presentation. Now I very rarely will swim these. I usually just you know give them that jig, that jig action. Let it fall, and jig it back up. Let it fall, jig it back up, and that's how I get pretty much all of my uh, my bass and panfish whenever I use these. Um, so I had to pick up a few of those. I got that in the chartreuse. I got that in the uh, Dakota Sunrise color. Um, and these ones are actually these are the ones that my friend ordered, but we got that in that. And we have some in the Karma color as well, which is like a, a white with a salt and pepper kind of flake in it. So these are very nice. Uh, I, I, I do recommend using these. Now the other thing that I bought that I'm very familiar with is the Mule Jig. And uh, I've got some in multiple different uh, colors and sizes. We have it in a 116 ounce green pumpkin, and it's, it's almost like a Ned kind of kind of style with a uh, with a very light light hook. It's almost like a Ned kind of style with a nice hook keeper on there, and it's it's light tackle, great for the ultra light, great for finesse fishing, which I do a lot of. Um, and they come in, in some nice sizes, specifically this 3 seconds ounce one. This one's in the green pumpkin as well. And this has been my favorite for bass fishing so far, as far as uh, jigging goes. I use things like the donkey tail, uh, some small swim baits, and anything kind of Ned related, and they work. They all work great on it. It's a nice, the hook's a bit smaller than your usual kind of Ned jigs, which I find nice, because it, it inhibits it from getting locked, knocked up in the weeds and everything as bad, and so, it's become kind of my go-to jig this summer. Uh, it's the same thing, more 332nd ounce. These are in black. Uh, I got a 332nd ounce in pink. Decided to switch it up. I very rarely use these uh, these bright color jigs, and I don't know. Maybe maybe that's what I need. The fishing has been tough lately. It has been slow, so. I'm gonna try some different things out and maybe a uh, bright color is, is what is needed. Also picked up a pack of floats, um, you know, just basic slip floats. Uh, what can I say? There's not much to say about them. You know how a float works. Now, as far as the uh, new to me kind of stuff goes, I got quite a bit of stuff here. So, uh, semi-recently, uh, it's been about for a bit now, but they came out with the Mule Minnow. And uh, you know, similar to the donkey tail, same same uh, plastic, same everything, same same colors for the most part, but a different style. And this is something I'm really interested in because, like I said, I don't swim the donkey tail much, so I'm not really using that that the action that that boot ta that boot tail gives. So something like this is kind of perfect for me. It's got that just that thin tail, you know, almost like a like a galt minnow on there with the the fork on it at the end. And it's really, really thin, and it really wants to dangle around. I'm excited to throw this. That same super, super stretchy material. It'll last forever. Um, yeah, this is gonna be. I'm thinking this is gonna be the juice. Throw this on a drop shot, maybe. I don't know. I'll still throw it on the jig for the most part, but um, yeah, this looks good. This looks like a good bait to use. So I got this in the chartreuse color. We also have that in the white. The Karma, again, and that karma looks really nice in the mule minnow. 
And uh, we got that in the Dakota Sunrise as well. So that purpley blue kind of tinge to it. That's a nice, nice color. Uh, I've bought in Dakota Sunrise donkey tails. I've never caught in a fish on it. I don't throw it as much as I do the black and the karma. Um, I've never really been a fan of those bright colors, but uh, my friend that ordered them. Maybe you'll have some more luck on them. The other thing that I bought a pack of was the Mule Minnow in the smaller size. He makes it in three sizes. There's a 3.2 inch, 2.2 inch, and I believe a 1.2 inch. Um, and I didn't want to go that small. I just have so many uh, micro, micro finesse baits for a pan fish. I don't really feel the need for them. But this is a nice looking size. I think it almost like it better than the 3.2 inch. I can see this being really nice for the crappie. I uh, throw it on a 132nd ounce jig maybe. And... Uh, you know, crappy season is coming soon, again here in the fall. Uh, it'll be great for bass, smallmouth they are gonna love this, the rock bass, man, I love catching rock bass, so uh, pretty excited to use this on the, uh, on the mule jig. Now, something more recent that was released on the website is the uh, workhorse jig here. Uh, as you can see, they come in multiple different colors. I picked up the black and the chartreuse. Uh, the chartreuse in a 116 ounce and the black in the 316 ounce. These are a tungsten uh, weighted jig. They're a bit heavier than the uh, mule jigs, which is nice, you know, on those windy days and you want to get a small bait down farther or just, you know, get a good cast on it. And they have a bit of a different head shape. They have a flat bottom, which looks kind of interesting to me. Because um, a lot of times I'll fish on the bottom when I'm fishing for panfish, just shallow from the shoreline. And I thought I'd give them a try. You know, it's a smaller hook. It's the hook on, I believe, on the 132nd ounce jig. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll be throwing these soon, probably in the fall time mainly. And uh, excited to get out there with this, as well as the minnows and the donkey tails and everything else. Uh, just thought I'd show off what I got. You know, mule fishing is probably the one place where I'll actually throw on, like, a big order. Uh, usually I just kind of stop at Badge Pro and or the local shops and pick up stuff here or there. So why not, you know, get a little haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, fishing, like I said, has been very slow lately, but uh, there are some new videos on the horizon. I just got a new PC, so hopefully they'll give me some more motivation to get on there and edit and uh, do all that fun stuff and uh, maybe pump out some more content. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, take care.